Hi friends, welcome to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video we are going to see about how to provide the DHCP services for multiple VLANs in your local area network. Here I am going to simulate this scenario using Cisco Packet Tracer. Let me go into the topology. So this is my topology. Here I am having a router which is going to act as my gateway and four switches. Switch 1 which is going to act as a VTP server and switch 2, 3 and 4 are going to act as a VTP clients. Added to that, here I am having 3 VLANs, VLAN 10, HR and VLAN 20 for sales and VLAN 30 for server. Added to these VLANs, I am having one more VLAN which is we call it as 99 that is for management VLAN. And here I am having my server with 192.168.30.100 is my server IP address. And these are all my tasks which I have to configure in this topology. First I have to start with the VTP configuration. VTP stands for VLAN Trunking Protocol which is used to propagate your VLANs between the switches. So once you make one switch as server switch and if you configure your VLAN in this switch and automatically this switch will propagate that VLANs to all the client switches. No need to configure all the VLANs on all the switches. So you have to configure only on server switch. So go to switch 1 which is going to act as a server switch. So here I have given switch 1 is VTP mode server and switch 2 as client, 3 as client and 4 as client and all are going to be in the domain Cisco those switches are in the same domain could be able to communicate with each other ok and for the security purpose here I have provided the password Cisco123 so go to CLI enable configure terminal VTP mode first I am going to make this a server and VTP domain which is Cisco VTP password which is Cisco123 and WR and go to switch 2 switch 2 3 and 4 are going to act as a client mode so here enable configure terminal VTP mode which is going to act as a client and VTP domain which is under Cisco domain and VTP password which is Cisco123 and WR and go to switch 3 enable configure terminal VTP mode which is also client VTP domain which is Cisco and VTP password which is Cisco 123 and WR to save your configuration and go to the switch 4 and this is also going to be my client switch so here enable configure terminal VTP mode which is client and VTP domain which is Cisco and VTP password which is Cisco 123 ok and WR now give so VTP status in your client switch and uh, here you could see version is 2 and uh, so far no revisions happened for your VLAN propagations from your server switch and maximum to 55 VLANs can support it in this switch and uh, 5 VLANs as of now and this switch is acting as a client under the domain Cisco. Now go to your switch 1 and here give the command so VTP status. So this is going to be a server switch. So here version 2 as of now no revision and uh, maximum 255 and existing VLAN is 5. Let me check here. So VLAN brief and here you could see number of VLANs by default in your switch is going to be 5. First is your default VLAN 1 and where your all your interfaces of your switches by default assigned followed by that 1002, 3, 4 and 5 are there in your switches. So totally 5 VLANs here and the second task you have to configure the VLANs. So here I am having 4 VLANs 10, 20, 30 and 99. So where I have to configure all these VLANs means I have to configure only on the server switch. So go to your server switch which is your switch 1. So here I have to create a VLANs. So configure terminal VLAN which is 10 and name of that VLAN is here HR. So label it as HR and uh, 20 and uh, name is sales and uh, 30 and name is server and 99 which is name is for management purpose and WR now give so VLAN brief so here you could see that four VLANs added here okay and give the command so VTP status now 
so here you could see existing VLANs changed to 9 before it was 5 now it changed to 9 ok let me check with the switches client switches whether these VLANs propagated or not so again give the command so VLAN brief but here if you look at the VLANs not propagated yet only it is having the default VLANs why we haven't configured the ports connecting these switches as trunk ok so now I have to configure those things so go to switch 1 and as per the rule if the switches connecting with the switches or router that port should be a trunk port if the switch links connected with the end devices that port is going to be the access port so as per that if you take the switch 1 is having 1 2 3 and 4 links and all the links are connected with switches and routers so here configure terminal interface range fa 0 slash 1 2 4 because 1 2 3 and 4 ports used in this switch which are all coming under mode trunk ok and give end wr and go to switch 2 is having 1 2 3 and 4 4 ports used but 1 and 2 connected to the switches and 3 and 4 connected to the end devices so 1 and 2 belongs to trunk and 3 and 4 which belongs to the access for carrying your VLAN 10 traffic configure terminal interface range fa0 slash 1 hyphen 2 which is coming under mode trunk exit and interface range fa0 slash 3 hyphen 4 which is connected with the end device so this is going to be switch port mode access of your vlan so switch port access vlan which is connected with your vlan 10 so 10 it is going to carry the traffic of vlan 10 end wr and go to your switch to having how many links 1 2 3 4 and 5 links configure terminal interface range out of 5 links 1 2 3 are connected to the switches so fa0 slash 1 2 3 which is going to be a mode trunk and exit interface range fa0 slash 4 to 5 these two ports connected with the end devices so it is going to be switch port mode access and accessing vlan which is going to be 20 end wr and go to your switch 4 and here it is having three links 1 2 and 3 out of these three 1 and 2 connected to the switches and 3 connected to the server so 1 and 2 is going to be your trunk and 3 is going to be the access of your vlan 30 so here configure terminal interface range fa0 slash 1 hyphen 2 and switch port mode trunk exit then the interface fa0 slash 3 which is connected to your server so switch port mode this is going to be your access so switch port access of vlan 30 traffic exit do wr now let me check whether this server switch propagates the VLANs details to the client switches or not. So, so go to switch 2 enable so VLAN brief. So let me check here all the VLANs propagated from your server switch to this client switch. So 10, 20, 30 and 99 updated here and 10 assigned with the port number 3 and 4. And go to your switch 3 and check the same here. 10 20 30 and 99 updated and uh, it is connected with the vlan 20 so 4 and 5 is the port which is connected with the pcs and go to switch 4 and give the command so vlan brief and here also vlans updated so now give so vtp status so here you could see revisions happened 8 times and an existing VLANs totally 9. Before it was 5 and added to this 4 VLANs total 9 VLANs existing in this switch. The next step is to configure the sub interfaces on your router gateway. So the gateway is connected with your switch through the interface FA0 slash 0 which is the physical interface but it has to support 4 traffics from different VLANs. So we have to divide this main interface into sub interfaces to allow the traffic from different VLANs. So go to your router, no enable configure terminal interface FA0 slash 0 first make the port up, no shutdown 
and uh, interface fa0 slash 0.10 here i am dividing that main interface into the first sub interface to accept the traffic from vlan 10 so 0.10 which is a sub interface give enter if i assign the ip address 192.168.10.1 255.255.255.0 is my gateway for the VLAN 10. You will get an error message because you have to enable the IEEE standard for this sub interfaces. If you are not enabling the IEEE standard dot one q for this sub interface, you can't assign the IP address. So here encapsulation dot one q 10. After that, you could assign the IP address. And similarly, do it for the remaining sub interfaces 20 here i have that detail encapsulation dot 1q20 and the ip address is going to be 10.1 and use up arrow now 30 and dot 1q30 and the ip address is going to be 192 30.1 and use up arrow for 99 and encapsulation dot 1q99 IP address for this is going to be 99.1 and give end W or to save it. Give so running configuration and check it out. Here is your main interface and divided into sub interface 0 0.10 with 10.1 IP address 0 0.20, 20.1, and 0 0.30 with 30.1 as interface IP address and 99 with the IP address 99.1. Fine. And next step is the last step which we have to configure the DHCP service. So here I am going to configure DHCP service for two VLANs. One is for HR and another one for sales. So HR DHCP service I am going to configure it on the router. And for the VLAN 20 sales I am going to configure the DHCP service on server. Go to your router configure terminal. IP DHCP first exclude the IP address which you have used it for your sub interfaces 192.168.10.1 which means you are removing this IP address from your DHCP service and uh, second is going to be 20.1 and third is going to be 30.1 and fourth is going to be 99.1 and the next IP DHCP pool here I have given the details so HR is my pool name for VLAN 10 and network address is 192.168.10.0 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the default router for that is going to be 192.168.10.1 is my default router and the DNS is going to be my server so 192.168.30.100 is my server IP address so end WR give so run configuration to check HR pool created for the network 192.168.10.0 and 10.1 is the gateway go to your server for your vlan 20 dhcp so check for the ip address of your server you had already pre-configured 30.100 and go to your service dhcp enable the service here my pool name is going to be sales and uh, this is for vlan 20 so vlan 20 gateway is 192 20.1 is the gateway for vlan 20 and the dns server is this server so 192 30.100 is the server ip and this service is for vlan 20 so the starting ip should be 20 followed by 2 1 is already given for the default gateway so 20.2 add it so it has been added let me check go to pc1 IP config and PC1 belongs to VLAN 10. So request for DHCP, which DHCP you have configured it on your router. It receives the IP address from the router for VLAN 10. Let me check for PC2 also. Request for DHCP and this also receiving it from the router. Let me do it for PC3, which is under VLAN 20. VLAN 20 DHCP you have configured it in server. So IP config. DHCP request and check whether it is receiving DHCP service from the server or not. It is not getting the service. Why? By default, the DHCP service request will direct to the router. So the router will check whether it is having the DHCP service for that particular VLAN or not. If it is not having, 
it will not assign the IP address to the requested PC. So you will get DHCP failed. APIPA is your IP address which is 169 series and uh, which is stands for uh, automatic private IP assignment. So what I have to so if any request for the VLAN 20 DHCP is going to your router the router has to redirect those requests to the server. So for that go to your router configure terminal for which VLAN DHCP configured in server means VLAN 20. So go to the sub interface FA0 slash 0.20 which is the gateway for your VLAN 20 PCs. So this PC is belongs to VLAN 20 so any request here for DHCP will direct to this routers sub interface 0.20. So here I am going to provide the helper to help the request pockets to redirect to the server. So server IP is 30.100. So once you have given this helper command, any request from this PC will redirect to the server. So here the server is having the DHCP service for the VLAN 20. Then the server will automatically assign the IP address to this PC. So let me check. And WR. So let me check it again. Go to PC3 re request for DHCP. Now I am getting the IP address from the server. Go to PC2 DHCP. So this belongs to 20. 20 DHCP is in server. So it redirect to server and uh, this PC is getting the IP address. Go to command prompt. Let me check the communication. So 192, 168. Ping the gateway of this PC 20.1. Yes, getting replay. Successful and uh, to the next VLAN 30.1 yes accessible and then 10.1 yes so from one VLAN to another VLANs are accessible hope you understand if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe to this channel for getting more videos updates thank you bye